that blood in a centrifuge, spin it around, extract the parts of it that they want, which is the plasma, and then they actually that's what they want to go in here. So if you ever do get bitten by a venomous snake, you go to the hospital, and what they'll actually do first off is they'll monitor you, because a lot of the times when you do get bitten by a venomous snake, you don't have to get venomated. So the snake wants you to leave it alone, it's trying to tell you, leave me alone. I don't want anything to do with you, you're scaring me. And so it does what we call a dry bite. So it bites you but doesn't envenomate you. But sometimes they do. Um, so they'll start monitoring you for any signs of venomation and that might mean that you start to get really nauseous, you start to get really dizzy, and um, you get the shakes, all the other kinds of symptoms. Once you start to show those symptoms, that's when they'll start to inject um, you with anti-venom. Um, and you can you may need multiple vials. Now, us in Australia, we're actually really lucky. We have the purest forms of antivenom anywhere in the world. So, we're okay, guys. We're just milking snakes. That's okay. <laughs> that we have the purest antivenom anywhere in the world. Lots of other countries are.